Joining us right now is a director of research at Horizon Media. He's Brad Adgate. He's been named a media maven by Ad Age magazine and a media industry all-star by Media Week. So the perfect person to talk to. Nice okay. to have you back here. Hey, thank you, Carol. I was going to start with your report, but you know what? Let's talk about this dispute between News Corp and Cablevision. Sure. I mean, how do you think this is going to play out? And does it show that the content guys are really now in the driver's seat? Well, yeah, they are. I mean, actually, the consumers lose out, and content is still king. And mm -hmm. you can watch this on a whole bunch of different platforms now. And it's interesting that, you know, they shut down Hulu.com for Cablevision subscribers, which is kind of a way to slap the wrist to Cablevision. But ultimately, it's the, cons the consumers who lose. So ultimately, it's what, going to cost more, and consumers are going to pay more. That's how it's going to play out. Yeah. Well, every time, you know, ESPN uh, charges $4 per subscriber for people that they could pay a lot more for sporting events. It's not a level playing field. And you're starting to see, you know, the broadcast networks now want the same type of carriage fees that the cable networks are getting. Brad, are we going to see more disputes? Or are we going to see the content guys and the cable providers try to, they're going to work in the next, I don't know, year or so and make sure that they can kind of solve all of this, but it's still going to be more money for consumers? Oh, I think it'll be, this is not going to be resolved for a while. I think we're going to see more disputes and we're going to see more standoffs and, and maybe mm -hmm. binding arbitration is the answer to that or FCC intervention. They're all trying lots of things right now, aren't they? Yeah, they are, but nothing's working. Hey, listen, let's talk about axing the coaxial. This is a long report that you did. It's pretty lengthy <laughs> here, but it's interesting. I mean, yeah. in terms of the future of television, you're right, it's undergoing a revolutionary change. Um, the change being what? That we're moving well, more to online and internet and so on? Yeah, we're seeing more PC TV convergence. We're seeing people watching content online through your TV set. In fact, tonight, you know, is uh, while the Giants are going to be in ESPN, which is good for, uh, for Cablevision subscribers, tonight Time Warner is uh, subscribers are going to be able to watch ESPN Monday Night Football through their TV Everywhere type of initiative, which mm -hmm. was part of an agreement that they made a, a couple months ago with Disney. So it's already changing as we know it. Yeah, so it is. Well, I mean, who's going to be ultimately the winners and losers in all of this, or is it too early in your view, Brad? Well, I think it's really too early. I think right now the networks are being very skittish. They, they don't think that either Google TV or Apple TV, obviously the big headliners in this, really have a viable revenue model that's going to work and are give they them right? the money. Are they right? I, well, I think they are. It's interesting that in all of this embroglio that's going on right now, you know, Apple was offering $2 to watch a show on the video iPod. They wanted to cut the price in half to watch a show on, online on, on Apple TV. The networks are saying, look, we're asking cable operators for a mon more money. How can we, you know, cut our price in half for Apple? But, so there's a lot of models that have to be worked out. But bottom line, I mean, it's going to be a very different model going forward. It has to be. It, it will be, but it's not going to happen overnight. Cable is still, you know, SNL Kagan came out with a report in second quarter that Got things it. are down 200,000 homes so. And, and so but you know that that could be a blip all right we're gonna leave there hey Brad thank you so much Brad Adgate director of research over at Horizon Media Brad thank you so much hey, thank you Carol all right